I don't buy it, and I won't try it. The government's too fat, let's put it on a diet. The bureaucracy is supposed to work for us. They promise all the pork for us, but they don't do squat for us. No more oppression, or deep depression, no apologies, and no confession. A time of defiance and self-reliance. They think we're small, but we're like giants. We may lose, but before we die, we gotta break these chains and be off. Poor education and humiliation, discrimination and organization, inflation and taxation, more literacy, evacuation, dislocation, stagnation, mass incarceration, and most welfare for the corporations. These are the ten plagues that affect all of us. John F. Kennedy had the remedy until he was killed by the enemy. He said the nation's one star nation started a terrible conversation. But he had to lie when he put off the side, because what he said was simply incredible. For those who make peaceful in their revolution impossible, make violent revolution inevitable. pro-life libertarian. As such, I recommend my first choice is going to be Daryl Perry because he's the most libertarian guy out there. But my second choice is Dr. Mark Feldman. You know why? Because Feldman can do things that no none of our other candidates can do. Not only can he rap like an SOB, <laughs> the truth is none of our other candidates can reach out to Bernie supporters the way that Mark can because it, no one else has said they will take more or less than five dollars. Bernie Sanders, people love folks who don't want to spend money. That's, Mark's, uh, that's Mark Feldman. And you know what? Who better to negotiate a Middle East peace process than a Jew like Mark Feldman and a Muslim like Will Coley? Yeah. Party of Miami-Dade County. I'm here today because I want to change liberty. Are you ready to change liberty? Yeah. Yeah. I'm here today because the interview we've been talking about, and he, he, he says it like it is, and he tell you what it is, and you know how it is, and I, I think he needs to get more attention. So today I'm here to nominate Dr. Mark Feldman. Yeah. Good afternoon, my name is Dr. Mark Allen Feldman, and I represent the Libertarian Party Wing of the Libertarian Party. <laughs> it's time to come together, and, and whatever happens with these nominations, I want to pull us together as a party. I, I want to, to value everybody from the most abolitionist anarchist to the most pragmatic Ron and Rand Paul supporters. Let me see your hand for everybody in the Republican Party. Uh, excuse me, everybody in the Libertarian Party. Uh, all right, I'll still, I'll, I'm still running. I'm still. This, this is an incredible honor for me, and I want to tell you, and I want everybody to think for themselves about something. I want to tell you the main reason I am running for president is because I can. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people are gonna say, who's Feldman, okay? Well, I'm nobody, but nobody tells the truth. And nobody has a plan for America, and nobody cares about every single American, and nobody will represent the American people. So I want you to consider Mark Allen Feldman nobody for president. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to ask you to tr uh, trust me. I, I'm not going to give you promises because I don't think you should. Uh, my entire focus of my campaign is you should believe in yourself. Trust yourself and decide for yourself. It perturbs me when people say we have a zero chance of winning the presidency. That's ridiculous. All we have to do, I tell people, I don't want to persuade people, I want to blow their minds. 
I want to change the paradigm. Elections are not contests. They're not races. They're decisions for the voters to make. So this is, thank you. If it becomes a decision, there are going to be uh, three candidates on the ballot in every, all the 50 states. One Democrat, <coughs> one Republican, <laughs> and a Libertarian. Everybody knows the best candidate will be the Libertarian. So all we, we don't have to really convince anybody that we're great. We just have to convince people, instead of thinking about it as a race, think about it as a decision and vote for the best candidate. Could it happen? Sounds possible to me. That's all we need to do. People who say that we have zero chance, Feldman does not approve. <laughs> The other reason I can do this is because I have no fear. Part of it is because I'm speaking to my extended family. Like, like, like any family, uh, a lot of us hate each other. <laughs> but we all love each other. And if anybody else attacks us, we will stick together and fight for each other. <laughs> Trust in yourself, believe in yourself, decide for yourself, empower yourself. Thank you. Excuse me. Um, how late are we taking the presidential tokens 